Hey everyone, this is uh, Corey from the Android Central Forums. I told some uh, some of you that I would create a video on how to root your Fascinate using your MacBook or Macintosh, whatever. Um, how to do that uh, from your computer. So the first thing you want to do is go to your browser and you need to download um, what's called an SDK, Software Developer Kit, from uh, developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html um, when you get to that page the next thing you want to do is go to the middle of the screen where it says Mac OS X Intel and click on the Android SDK for Mac uh, dot zip so just click on that and it's going to go ahead and download that file for you or that uh, archive and once it's down, done downloading, uh, go to wherever it's located. Um, I use the download manager personally, so it's here in my uh, download manager. And what I'm going to do is open it. Okay. And it opens it up in uh, Finder. And you'll see that it's selected here. So what I want to do is drag this folder over to my Macintosh HD. Okay. So if I click on Macintosh HD, you can see I have this. I moved the folder over here. If I expand that, uh, I can see inside of there I have a Tools folder, and then inside of there I have a bunch of different files. One of them is ADB, and that's uh, a file that we're going to be working with from what's called a um, a terminal window. So uh, let's go ahead and put my download manager aside and let's go back to or let's go over to the forums. Um, close that window. We're going to go to the forums and if you go into the Fascinate uh, forums, which hopefully you're familiar with by now, go into the ROMs and hacks section and then click on the how to root sticky. Dirk created this awesome procedure for everyone that's on Windows. Uh, actually, I, I think this is even better than what I'm doing right now because you can copy and paste a lot of the commands that he uh, is typing out and then just paste them into the the uh, command or the DOS window here. Um, but anyway, so go ahead and scroll to the bottom of this procedure where it says file type um, rar. Next to that, you have fascinate.rar. Go ahead and download that um, from the forum. If you're not a member, please register. Um, so you can see the, the, the file there. Uh, go ahead and click on that, download it. Um, and then wherever it puts it, uh, I have mine on my desktop. Uh, go ahead and uh, open it up. Okay, You'll have four files inside of that archive. Go ahead and uh, hold down on the, the left mouse button, in my case, to select all of them, and then drag them over to the Tools folder. Okay. Um, uh, I just put them just put them in the wrong place. So let's do that again. Let's try that one more time. So I'm going to select them and go back to the tools folder here. Okay. So instead of dragging it on top of tools, I'm just going to drag them right there. Okay. So that I know they're in there now. So they're in the tools folder. And I'm going to close, so I'm going to go ahead and close my finder window now. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up a terminal window. Okay, I already had one open, so I'm going to close it so we can start fresh. Uh, I'm going to go to Applications. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see towards the bottom, you'll see this Utilities folder. And then if you scroll down, you'll see this uh, black icon with an arrow in it. And then it says Terminal underneath that. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ls. Uh, what that does is tell me, it basically tells me where I'm at. Uh, right now I'm in the wrong folder. I'm not where we need to be to run ADB. So I'm going to type in, uh, go ahead and just type in cd a couple of times. Okay, twice. Do another ls. And now we're in the right directory. So you can see, once you can see this Android SDK Mac x86 um, folder, you're in the right place. Um, so go ahead and type in, to change into that directory, we're going to type in cd. 
and we're going to type in AND star. So I don't have to type the whole Android, that whole Android dash SDK dash Mac. I don't have to type that entire thing. I can just do AND star and it's going to match on the first three characters and it's going to change it to that directory. All right, so if I do another LS, you'll see that I have a, uh, a tools folder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that up. So CD tools. And if I do another LS, we can see um, the files that we copied over from the archive and this uh, file here called ADB. So that's what we're going to be working with. And this is where it differs a little bit from Dirk's procedure because we're on a Mac, um, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, but anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push three files over. Um, and basically, they're the ones that were in uh, Dirk's archive. So to do that, we use the ADB command. Um, so instead of doing just ADB push, like in Dirk's procedure, we're going to do a dot slash ADB push. And we're going to type in space and then SU. So that's the first file we're going to push over. And where we want to put it, so on the phone. So you want to do slash SD card slash SU. Okay. So it copies it over. Uh, there's a number of kilobytes that it copied over. Um, the next file that we're going to push over is the BusyBox file. So type in period slash ADB push BusyBox space slash SD card slash BusyBox. Okay, so now we have two files on our SD card, SU and BusyBox. So the next one that we want to do is we want to push over a um, the rage.bin file, and that goes in a different place. That goes in the um, the data local temp folder on the phone. So to push that over, we're going to do the same thing: dot slash adb push, and then type in rage.bin, and then the path name. So space the path name is slash data slash local slash tmp that stands for a short for temp and then the name of the file is rage.bin okay so to and from okay so hit return and it copies that file over and the next thing we're going to type is uh, we're going to go into a shell so we type in adb excuse me dot slash adb uh, shell and the first thing you're going to see here is a dollar sign. Okay. Now, once we're here, it's as if we're on the phone, right? So if I change directories, I'm actually changing directories on the phone itself. So the first thing we want to do is change our directory to slash data, slash local, slash TMP. That's where we place the rage.bin file. Now, don't get too caught up in this. Um, this next step. Uh, basically, we need to change the permissions on rage.bin so they can be launched. And the way to do that um, is to type in chmod, so change mod, uh, and then 0755. And again, don't worry about what that means, just type it uh, rage.bin. Okay. Now, once you've done that, just type in period slash rage.bin okay and then you're gonna see a bunch of stuff here and uh, some things about PayPal if you want to donate some money um, and then eventually it's gonna bring you back to this dollar sign prompt alright so the next thing that we want to do is um, once it does that is uh, so it gives you the dollar sign prompt and then it exits out of the shell and then it's going to show your um, your path name on your local um, on your local hard drive uh, for the Mac. All right, so once you're at that point and don't do it before, but once you're at this point here, um, go ahead and type in period slash adb space shell. Okay. And at this point, you should have a pound sign instead of a dollar sign. So if you do, you're good, okay? Um, if you don't, then you might need to start from the beginning because something didn't go right. 
Um, all right, so the next thing we need to do is mount um, a folder. And again, don't worry about what that means for now. Just, just type in the following mount space dash t space rfs space dash o space remount comma no spaces rw space slash dev slash block slash stl9 space slash system and hit return. Okay, now next thing you want to do is do a cd, so change directory to slash system, slash xbin. Remember xbin is where we put the rage.bin earlier. No it isn't, I'm sorry. I uh, forget that, that I even said that. Um, so the next thing we want to do is uh, the cat command, um, and then hit space, and then do sd card slash su, and then you want to hit a space and then hit the right arrow, which is on the, the same key as the period. Um, so shift period, and then it's space, and what that means is redirect. So it takes the, the, the source and it redirects it to the destination. And the destination in this case is going to be su, so where we're at, it's going to place the contents of that where we're in the existing directory where we're at. So go ahead and re hit return now. And we want to do the same thing with BusyBox. So cat slash space slash SD card slash uh, BusyBox space right arrow space BusyBox. Okay, and then hit return. Now we need to change permissions on these files as well. So we do it chmod 4755 space su. Okay, and then chmod 4755 on BusyBox as well. And hit return. Okay, and now what you want to do is type in exit. Okay, and the next thing you're going to do is do an adb install space super user dot apk. Now, once you've done that, you're going to hit return. I'm not going to do it because I already have this installed on my phone, um, and I'll get an error if I if I hit return now. Um, but once you do it, uh, it'll push it over. It'll install the super user apk, which is what you need. And I believe I'm kind of saying this from memory, but I believe at this point you need to look at your phone. And you may see something, a prompt asking you if you want to grant permissions or something to that effect. And if, uh, if you do, go ahead and say um, OK. Um, if you don't see that, just ignore what I just said. It just, it's, it, from memory, it seemed like I had to do that. Um, so if you don't see that, great. Um, at that point, I would go ahead and reboot your phone. And when you come back up in your app drawer, you should see um, you should see the super user icon in your app drawer, and at that point you can start doing the things that uh, you know you can you, you can do in root. So I'm going to actually do another video show, demonstrating some of those things and why you'd even root in the first place. Um, but uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, and I'm going to copy some of the commands that I if I can go up that far. I'm going to copy some of these commands and paste them in the forum so you can basically just kind of copy and paste some of the things that I typed in. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, be sure to visit androidcentral.com and stick around in the forums. Uh, we're very friendly, especially to newbies, uh, some of you call yourselves. No question is a stupid question and uh, we have a lot of respect for everyone. So it's great having everyone around and uh, I'll talk to you later, bye.